George Santos, Anthony DeVolder. Who am I talking about? Well, apparently it's the same guy. Many of you last week when I said George Santos slash Anthony DeVolder wrote to me and said, David, what are you what are you talking about? I, what do you what do you mean by that? People wrote in asking about this in 2019. George Santos introduced himself not as George Santos, but as Anthony DeVolder, the founder of United for Trump. This was a walk away LGBT event in New York City. The idea being it's for LGBT people to abandon the Republican Party. Here's a familiar looking and sounding guy who says my name is Anthony DeVolder. Yeah, we're the haters. Oh, you got to be here. So my name is Anthony DeVolder. Um, I'm a New York City resident. I've recently founded a group called United for Trump. So if you guys want to follow, that would be awesome. My question's directed for both Blair and um, Brandon. Well, Brandon's an idol to all of us. Thank yeah. You. Anthony DeVolder. What is that? Now, if you look at his Wikipedia page, apparently his full name is George Anthony DeVolder Santos. Uh, is that accurate? I guess probably. This is not the first time that this has come up. There's actually some amazing video during his 2020 campaign. A guy who introduced Santos DeVolder at the Queens Village Republican Club was actually confused and said, this guy, I know this guy is Anthony DeVolder. I don't even understand what's going on here. Check this out. This is out. This is amazing. Folks, another important speaker, uh, another congressional nominee. Um, George Santos, George, who we know is a friend, as, and he's known as Anthony DeVolder to me. So I don't know where George Santos came into the thing, but that's what it says here. Yeah, he's the Republican candidate. This guy's like I've been handed a piece of paper that says this guy is George Santos, but I've known him as Anthony DeVolder. And indeed, here is another video in which he introduces himself as Anthony DeVolder. Good evening, everybody. My name is Anthony DeVolder. Um, I recently founded a movement called United for Trump on Facebook. And by the way, I have to tell you, he founded a movement. This is typical of people who have these delusions of grandeur. I founded a movement. Dude, you made a Facebook page. OK, that's what you did. You founded a movement. It's a real movement. It's incredible. It's like reform Judaism. It's a, just an unbelievable movement that has taken the world by storm. Um, next thing would be that. And I, people have written to me about this and I, I hope this doesn't come up. Next thing will be that he says he's trans or something like that. Let's hope it doesn't get to that point. What is his real name? Apparently, it's George Anthony Santos DeVolder, Anthony George DeVolder Santos, something along those lines. We may never really know. Every day we see more and more stories about what tech companies and ISPs are doing with your data. Facebook just settled a huge lawsuit alleging they gave millions of users data to a company helping the Trump campaign. Everyone should be using a VPN every time they connect to the Internet. No excuses. A VPN hides your IP address. It can keep your data private from these companies and even from hackers. That's why I reached out to Private Internet Access about being our sponsor. Private Internet Access is the only VPN that has proven in court multiple times they don't log your browsing history. Their no log practices are also independently audited by Deloitte. No other VPN takes your privacy this seriously. Lightning fast for downloads, streaming content only available in other countries works as well, works with all major streaming platforms with one account. You can use it on up to 10 devices and they have a 30 day money back guarantee and their 24 seven support is amazing. Go to PIA VPN dot com slash Pacman to get 83 percent off. That's two dollars and three cents a month and you'll get four months free. The link is down below.